let's get this show on the road. What's up guys, welcome back to Veggie Learning Discord, and today we are back with another video. So, if in the last video we review, we will, we looked at the um, on Common Sense Media, and and read their um, review on the Veggie on Veggie Tales, the veg, Veggie Tales in the house, and Veggie Tales in the city, and I already gave my opinions on them. Um, if you want, you can go watch that video if you want. You find it in our channel, but um, they did not review the Veggie Tales show. Uh, so what I decided to do was make another video just based on the VeggieTales show. Um, I looked up for reviews and honestly I couldn't find much. All I found were a bunch of Google reviews and this one video by some dude reviewing the show. So basically what I'm going to do is just read a few Google reviews and then watch the video and that'll be that. Alright, let's get Veggie started. VeggieTales show... Alright, MID gives it a 7.8 stars. Okay. Um, there's really no website reviews, so I'm just gonna read the reviews and then I'm gonna watch the video the dude gave on it. Alright, audience reviews. Everyone dis- oh, I don't care. Uh, we read this, we read this one already. Right, but because Veggie Tales has been in my life forever, and I want to live on, especially Larry the Cucumber and Bob the Tomato. They are both iconic, and I. Gr Did we read this one too? I think we read all of these. Wait, hold on. Okay, here we go. Thank you for bringing back the original Veggie Tales because I miss them since they changed the looks. This used to be my favorite show since kindergarten. Now I'm six gram. What? This isn't the original. This is the VeggieTales show. I knew that the reviews were going to be positive on the VeggieTales show, but I didn't think it was going to be like five stars, five stars, five stars. Right, let's see. I've been watching VeggieTales since I was three. So VeggieTales and the house in the sea are both bad. So the VeggieTales show is good and all, but it looks too real. Like it's too realistic, man. I, I like it a lot. Really great show. My only complaint is the streaming service, so I wish it would be on TV on the network that owns the service UPTV, so I go watch it without having to pay a lot of money. Sure, well, I mean, honestly, it's not even worth it. Why are they saying that the original is bad? Like, this is not the original. Well, well you see, it has the funny. That show probably has the worst humor ever. Like, in the, in the, in the city, it was probably even funnier than this, because, like... Oh, hey, kids, I'm a tomato. Ha, <laughs> so funny. Uh. Alright, um, where is that review? We should we watch a detailed video? No, I want to watch the review. Maybe tell us show review. Ben 10 Life. Alright, let's watch this dude. Let's watch this dude. Ben 10 Life. Oh. Hey, didn't see you there. I was just watching some classic Veggie Tales. Hey, have you heard about their new show? Well, do I have a show for you? The oh, Veggie Tales show is the corniness. successor to the popular Christian corniness. Ah, ah, ah! Have we got a show for you? Have we got a show for you? Have we got a show for you? All right. I think he has a show for us guys, so let's watch this. Which has produced over 50 episodes and two theatrical movies in the past 27 years. As of late, the franchise has been silent in regards to new releases. The last thing we got from VeggieTales was 2017's VeggieTales in the City, which received Ugh. rather mixed reviews. All signs mixed reviews, the I thought there were canceled, a lot of but in negative April of reviews that we just saw. The VeggieTales show was announced, and it looked to be a return to form for the series. In 2016, DreamWorks was bought out by NBC, who began to license off the VeggieTales brand. The Trinity Broadcasting Network acquired the license and managed to convince the original creators Phil Fisher and Mike DeRocket to join the project. I want to Unlike classic VeggieTales, this new show is streaming show. exclusive and this is like the only and not video direct to DVD. VeggieTales in the House was exclusive to Netflix, but that isn't the case here. 
The Vedi Tales Show can be found on TBN's new streaming service, Yippie TV, a platform for faith-based programs. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's clear that TBN is using Vedi Tales to sell their app. All the marketing I've seen usually highlights the inclusion of new and classic Vedi Tales episodes. I personally think the show would do better on Netflix, a service most people already it have and has a wide variety of shows. I'll agree with you that. You see, Netflix has the magic school bus. Yippee yeah, that's what I'm saying. Changing. They have like the Jack magic Fire. school bus. By the way, my favorite episode is uh, Phoebe this. gets planted. Currently, the first three out of twenty six episodes are out, for everyone. so the show is very early in its life cycle. It's very possible that some of the critiques I make in this review will be addressed in later episodes. But these are my thoughts right because now. Because you get to learn the about show trees growing, the tomato, and putting on a show plants and growing, and I like plants. Plants are good. I have the main goal with this new show myself, is to teach so. kids Christianity, yeah. and in doing that, they are exclusively telling Bible stories. While I will miss original stories, they've been able to tell Bible stories just as well, and I'm interested to see what stories they will cover. So far, they've covered Jesus' birth, Abraham and Lot, and Paul and Silas. Yeah, the they did cover Jesus' birth. That was good. I think good. the stage aesthetic is working against them. I'm very aware that yeah, these the are first characters episode playing is, other characters. Was the best I know this so is Larry far. pretending to be Paul, and I know they're not really in Philippians. The old show's creative settings immersed me into the world. I believe this was David, and yeah, I believe really they were in Israel. Yeah, I really like that they tried to bring back a lot of stuff. The fact that they were stripped to the stage hurt the immersion of the show. The show also likes to waste time. We get the opening setup scene, then the theme song, then another song, and then the actual yeah, story. Yeah, I like the silly It takes roughly show, 11 right? minutes before the main show starts. I just think the old show we usually spend around a minute on setup and then start Not the show. Not silly song, just like the it did it, it usually made the, the songs in the middle of the play. The show visually looks great. Like that good. It's refreshing to see the classic designs return. The designs of some characters have been tweaked, but for the most part, they look identical. It's handled by a different studio this time. 88 Pictures, who's done stuff for DreamWorks in the, the past. Design still some animations the best, do look a bit off, but the majority of it is great. Somewhat. A lot of familiar characters return, and while most feel pretty in character, Bob and Larry seem the most out of character. Larry has always been a goofy character, that's part of his charm, but here it's pushed to its extreme. They've basically done what's happened to Spongebob, where they define a character by a single character trait, and Bob seems uncharacteristically immature. He they really ruined the Larry being run his way, on these new he shows. They either Christmas. made him like he either like Patrick like 2.0 point or just slightly out of touch tomato I grew up with. Well, here's Voice the thing: I think in this hat. house and in the city, Most Larry is like Patrick 2.0, and then Veg and then in the show, Larry is like smart. The new Larry. actors are pretty good and sound pretty close to the originals, but the like change smarter people than Bob, most likely have a problem with is Mr. Nezer. Oh, I can't ho, ho. stand the it's way they time for the show. the show. Nezer is portrayed by David Mann of Tyler Perry fame. David's performance isn't bad, although it's very jarring when you're used to Nezer's original voice. Nezer's involvement in the show is small, and after a couple episodes, I did get used to his voice. I am curious as to why Phil did not reprise his role. I've heard countless rumors saying he was uncomfortable playing the character, but I can't confirm that. Khalil and Bruce Onion do make appearances in the show, however, they remain completely silent and don't interact with any of the main cast. I'm assuming that their voice actors, Tim Hodge and Terry Crews, weren't available to reprise their roles. With the new show comes a new theme song, written by Phil and scored by series composer Kurt Heineke. It's an alright theme song, a bit short for my taste, but still uh, decent. Yeah, the theme I didn't song instantly is... love it, but after a few listens, it grew on me. It's very bad. My one complaint is the music yeah, isn't really that like striking. No particular melody sticks out to me like it does not. in the original. And unfortunately, the that goes for most like, of the music. The the None of it is that catchy in the lyrics theme a lot to be desired. This is really disappointing because the series has produced some great songs in the past, but they just seem to be lacking here. My overall thoughts on the yeah, show is that it's pretty average. A major improvement from VeggieTales in the house, but still not the best it can be. The music is mediocre and it takes far too long to get to the show. Only in the house is probably the animation better. and voice acting are great. Or at least it's like tied with this show so because I know I've been kinda harsh in the in show, the house, but believe me, it, I wanted to great, see. But this show's the show is not still early in its life cycle and has room to improve. If I could make some suggestions, I'd lengthen and flesh out the Bible stories. These are the main attractions and should be the most interesting and take up most of the runtime. I'd also move the theme song to the beginning of the episode just to get it out of the way, and I'd bring back silly songs as a regular intermission. It also might be a good idea to share a lot of silly songs the back. Bible stories, just in case any kid wants to read more of the story. Alright, so that has been my review on the Veggie Tales show. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I thank you for watching. Bye! 
<laughs> he just goes back to watching bad details. All right, um, I mean, he was a little corny, but like, I agreed with his um review. All right, let's see what other people think. I definitely agree with the stage critique. It's very hard to suspend your disbelief when you only see the actors. A problem the original series never had, though I thought episode two worked really well, since it focuses between the unfathomable. Episode two was whack, but okay. I believe I know why Phil Fisher didn't want to voice Mr. Nizam. I heard that the voice for me was Nazir, supposed to be an inspiration of Office Boogie from the Nightmare Before Christmas, which is awesome, by the way. However, uh, Oogie is voiced by Ken Page, who is black, and Phil Fisher is white because of this. A lot of people thought Mr. Nezer was a stereo was a stereotype of a black man. Why would they want to base Mr. Nezer off of a character, another character? I honestly don't understand that. Sailor songs are coming back. What do you mean? Like, are they singing songs way more often? Yes, but I don't think I wouldn't call them silly songs. Saber Spark bought me here. Oh, I wonder if he mentioned this dude in his uh, video, one hour long video about VeggieTales. Regarding the animation, I think it's all right. I bet, I'll bet some jank. For one, Larry's mouth should never close all the way. It looks off. Yeah, the mouths on the show, on the show need work. I feel like this show should have aired on PBS Kids. Nope, no way. VeggieTales is way too good for PBS Kids, especially 2020. Yeah. PBS Kids is not. It has gone downhill. A lot. Agree. I definitely agree about Bob's character. For some reason, he really rubbed me the wrong way. Though he's not as bad as imposters as in the house. Aside from that, I really do enjoy the new show. Yeah, I don't like his character in this new show because um, I mentioned this in my last video, but he's just annoying and he is basically the only one learning the lessons and I just don't like the way they made him in this show. Alright, this is way too long to read. Petunia Rehar is now voiced by Kirk Bar 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 Kira Berkland. All right, so by a new person, okay. And this is the end of comments. Yeah, yeah, because like I noticed her voice is a little different on this show, so I'm not surprised. Watching VeggieTales in quarantine. All right, I'll watch that later, but right now, I would like to thank you all for watching. And, um, Oh, wow, this dude only has 893 subscribers. I'm a little surprised, especially with the amount of views he has. Well, actually, no, I think that's pretty average for the amount, or his amount of subscribers, but I thought it was a pretty decent video. Um, Anyways, I would like to thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.